Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today on Sip to Tally Films, we're going to recap the Ravens' 20-10 to victory over the Los Angeles Chargers from Sunday night. Um, we were able to go on Sunday night football and showcase our talents, where well, their talents, to the world. Um, primetime game versus the Chargers, who showcased one of the highest-paid quarterbacks in the league. Um, and, you know, much is a do made about highest paid, you know, higher paying quarterbacks versus Lamar and what they bring versus Lamar. And they always try to pit him versus these other guys. And, you know, the national media at one point say, is Lamar worth this money? And they won't even bring up the conversation whether these other guys are worth the type of money that, that they have commanded. Well, this is one of those games where had the Ravens lost, I'm pretty sure that conversation would have been front and center today. Um, I haven't had a chance to look at a lot of the national media, which I rarely do anyway, win or lose. I rarely look at those guys. I kind of stick to uh, YouTubers and, and kind of Twitter to get my news. I, I don't go – very rarely do I go to the ESPNs. Even less than that do I even go to Fox and first uh, Undisputed or whatever and get information. I go to my, my YouTubers and get – as much Ravens content as I need. So before I even get into mine, you know, support your YouTubes, YouTubers for your channel, for your team, whatever team that may be, even if that's not the Ravens, if it's the Bucks, if it's the Saints, if it's the the Chargers, if it's whoever your team is, support your YouTubers, man, because they, they giving you a lot more quality content than a lot of the four letter networks, doing a lot more research, doing a lot more, just it's just better man it's just better it ain't regurgitated stat sheet stuff they're actually watching the games and trying to give you good information so with that being said let's kind of get into uh the ravens game versus the chargers again like i said earlier ravens won 20 to 10 and offensively man I, and i just sent the message to a guy that i kind of bounce inf- bounce ideas off of weird is what i could think of offensively uh, I'll throw some numbers out there offensively. Uh, rushing force, Keaton Mitchell, nine carries, 64 yards, 7.1 yards per carry. 7.1. Lamar Jackson, 11 carries, 39 yards, uh, 3.5 yards per carry. Zay Flowers, one for 37, which was the one that kind of ended the game. Got a touchdown on that. Uh, Justice Hill, five for 31, 6.2 yards per carry. Looked really good. If you were on the watch party, you heard me and Hendo talk about it. Justice Hill looked really good in his limited carries. Excuse me. Gus Edwards, 8 for 26, uh, 3.3 yards per carry. And again, Gus is just not pushing that 5 yards per carry like he used to for whatever reason, whether it's not being blocked right, whether it's Gus, the play call, not really saying what the reason is, I don't know. But we're used to Gus being right around five yards with carry, and he's not not hitting that. So, again, the word weird. I don't, I can't really put my finger on what the issue is with the offense. Is like I, I put a tweet out earlier to, uh, this morning. The offense is like a wave pool. If you don't know what a wave pool is, it's like you go to these water parks. And you can kind of go and you can kind of just sit there, you know, every so often the alarm will come on and then they just throw waves. They just throw waves at you, throw waves at you. Then five minutes and it'll just be cool. Then the next five minutes they'll throw waves at you and then it's just rocky. Next five minutes is cool. And that's what the offense is. For You know, we'll come at you and we'll be sharp and we'll be moving the ball and we'll be doing stuff right. Then the next five minutes we'll be cool, chilling, three and out, punt. Uh, not blocking people. Um, we'll get the we'll get a flag and can't can't overcome it. We'll get like a loose oh, not a loose ball foul. <laughs> I'm thinking about basketball. We'll get a um, pre snap penalty. Can't overcome it. We will get a holding. Can't overcome it. We will have some kind of crazy play call. Can't overcome it. Then at times we'll get chunk plays. We we'll constantly get chunk plays and move the ball down the field. So I I at this point in the season, man, it's week thirteen. We need more consistency. And the thing is, everybody knows it. Lamar says in the press conferences, other offensive players, other offensive players say it in the press conferences. Ty Munkin says it in the press conferences. So there's no secret. Consistency is what the team is looking for. 
Now I don't I don't know how they fix that. I'm like you'd have to be in the room. Hell, they don't know how to fix it. They keep saying it. <laughs> so um I would say reps, but it's tough to practice reps when you in the NFL they, they really can't practice for real. So that's that's why you see a lot of sloppy first quarters when people are trying to get in, you know, for one on the script, then two they're trying to figure stuff out. So it's 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 tough. It's tough. It's tough. Uh, but Lamar's stats, uh, 8 for 32, 177 yards, one touchdown, uh, 82.4 passer rating. Good thing is with Lamar's play, no turnovers. No turnovers, which is great. And, again, Lamar's play, it wasn't great. But it wasn't bad either. It's weird. <laughs> I, I don't really know another word to even insert right here. If you have another word to kind of put – in the chat box about the offensive play from yesterday, it's weird. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't have another one. Receiving-wise, likely 4-4-40. Four, four, and he got most of his early. And he faded away. Uh, Odell, 3-34. for 34, Got most of his early. Faded away. Zay Flowers was consistent throughout for the most part. 5-25 um, for 25 with the touchdown. But he had most of that. Kind of early. Fade the way until that run because his second touchdown was a run. Uh, Keith Mitchell, two for 25. And I like him being a check down guy. He can do some stuff as a check down guy and, um, you know, make some things happen and shake. And, and I, I kind of like that. Uh, Bateman had a big catch on a, on a slant, which was good to see. Aguilar had a big catch. Uh, Justice Hill, I mean, not Justice Hill. Uh, Gus Elvis on a check down, which was fine. Um, It's like the, the receivers were involved and, and likely were involved early. And then they disappeared. I don't know. Like, was it the, the, the O-line not protecting? Was it? Well, part of it was the O-line not protecting. Because I can remember through the game saying, oh, hell, and calling everybody's name but Zeitler. I can remember at some point saying, oh, hell, Linderbaum. Oh, hell, Simpson. Oh, hell, Moses. Oh, hell, Stanley. I can remember saying that at some point throughout the game with the exception for everybody but Zeitler. And not saying Zeitler didn't have one of those moments, but I didn't call Zeitler's name at all. I, I can remember that. And, and for some reason, Khalil Mack, who had two sacks, has found Chicago Khalil Mack, and he is killing the game right now. So good thing they didn't have Bosa, and we might have had issues on both sides of the ball. And I don't know how good Bosa is. Word on the street is Bosa's washed. I'm not here to say whether he's washed or not. I'm just get, glad he didn't play yesterday. So that's what we got offensively. And just offensively, man, weird. That's that's all I can say. We got to figure it out. We got to have some kind of consistency. I don't really know what our identity is, which is a good thing and a bad thing. And I talked about this a little bit on the, on, um, the watch party yesterday with Hendo and Chris. Like, us not having an identity offensively, the defense don't have one thing they can hone in and say, hey, we got to stop that one thing. But then us not having an identity offensively, we don't have one thing we can go to and say, hey, this one thing can get us four yards on third and four. So that's that's the, the, the checks and balances of not really having our identity is good and bad. Now, let's switch on over to the defensive side. And I ain't much I can say bad about what these cats are doing, man. They, light, they playing lights out. Lights out football. I mean, it's crazy. Let me look at the their third down percentage. And I, and I know in the third quarter they played, they had, that, they had a long drive. They had like 14 to 17 plays or whatnot. But... Man, turnovers. How I many we had what three turnovers, three sacks. Um they gave up ten points. The defense is killing it, man. They you can't ask them to me, you can't ask them to do much more than what they did yesterday. They are they just they are killing the game defensively. They they showing different coverages post snap. They getting sacks. We getting pressure with four. The linebackers doing their thing. Kyle Hamilton is a freaking amazing. Um, 
I have nothing negative to say about what the defense did yesterday. I like the fact that they, they let Darby start instead of Rocky Sin. Um, Marlette came in, got an interception, and I think a TFL maybe. Um, well, I don't know if he got a TFL, but he was the one that blitzed Herbert on that very last play that forced him to, to get rid of it quick. I think it was the last play, whenever it was, but it was an important play. So I, my defensive part of this recap is short because – they they just playing lights out, man. They, just, they are nuts with what they what Mac McDonough has them guys doing. And Travis Jones got on the board. If you guys watched the wire, they were talking about they had to get Travis Jones on the sack board. He got on the board. Now, there was a half a sack, which I don't know where Matter BK came from. That looked like a full sack to Travis Jones to me. But Travis Jones got on the board. And so I think everybody on the front line, I don't know if Urban's on the board. I don't remember if Urban's on the board or not. But – Urban did get a fumble recovery. But Travis got on the board. And so they all on the board, man. And um, again, this is again, the, the, like I said, the defensive side was gonna be quick because <laughs> they doing their thing. <laughs> they they are killing it. They are killing the game right now. We made it to the bye week. Um no, let me see. Marlon didn't play, but I think we'll be good once the, you know, this bye week is over. I think he'll be fine. So we we fairly healthy going into the bye week. And I think this is the last bye week in the NFL, so everybody else will be on even terms. We're sitting at number one right now. I think once everybody plays this week and we don't, we'll have a real picture of where we sit in the AFC. I don't think it'll be number one, but we'll have a real picture of where we sit. And then we got a stretch run for yo, you know what. I think we got the Rams first. Then we have – um. I know we got, and I'm not sure the order, but I know we got the Rams, San Francisco, the Dolphins, and the Steelers. And I may have said it in the right order, too. No, no, no. Rams, Jaguars, San Francisco, and Steelers. I think that's how it go. I think that's how it goes. So, we got we got to be on our P's and Q's if we would still want to try to get that number one spot. So, um, I appreciate you guys for coming through. This is my recap on the 20 to 10 victory over the LA Chargers. Again, bye week coming up. Uh, we'll get film out as soon as I get access to the film. And uh, we'll see kind of what went on, you know, with the offense. We try to figure some things out and go from there. But I appreciate you guys for coming out. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. And again, like, comment, subscribe, share, put your thoughts about the game in the comment section, and share. Share, 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 share. Again, I have no secret. I've made it trying to get to 10K. So I would have helped. I would appreciate any help in sharing this and getting it out and, um, you know, adding to the pot. So I appreciate y'all and I'll see y'all soon. Make sure you tune up to the round table tonight. Peace and love.